Now, it's pretty fair to say that the Macallan Archival or Folio series is one of the most successful series of whiskey releases of all time in terms of its popularity and its demand. Now, there are a lot of people who want to collect and invest the Folio series bottles, and this video is for you. We're gonna cover everything from what it's about, so you get an understanding of what you're actually buying, to the investment potential and my thoughts on this as well. So wait to the end until you hear, if you wanna hear about what my personal take is on whether this is a good investment. But with any investment, the best investment is knowledge. So you really need to understand what you're actually buying into. So the first point is, is what is the Folio series? And well, who does it celebrate? Well, it really celebrates two people or, or in, in, in its formal sense, the Macallan Archival series. It's a celebration of Macallan's print, press and film advertising from 1980 to 1994. As such, there are several key players. The first two are Alan and Peter Shiak. You've got to give them credit. They're not really mentioned in the literature too much, but these are the guys, these were the board directors who took the decision to take the Callan whiskey from being a blending whiskey into a single malt whiskey. Now, the people that this series really celebrates, there's two of them. You've got David Holmes and Nick Salomon. David Holmes was the creative director from 1975 to 1993. He's also the designer of the Mark Littler 27 year old Coronation Reserve, which we'll put on screen now. And the ballot at the time of this video going out will still be open. But if not, go and check that video because it really is an awesome release. The other person that the Folio series celebrates is Nick Salomon. Now, he was the copywriter and between David Holmes and Nick Salomon, they penned between 200, 250 adverts for the Macallan in that period. And that is what the Folio series celebrates. It celebrates the creativity and excellence of these two amazing, amazing people. Now, you probably know that there's seven series of the folios that have been released to date. The most recent one is, of course, with this, the Macallan Folio 7. But what do each of these releases talk about and what is their story about it? So the first one is arguably the most important. It's the one that's gone up the most in value, hitting an all-time high of £16,000. We'll talk more about the investments in a moment. But the Folio 1 talks about the origins of the advertising that Macallan did, and it all starts here with this, the remarkable history of the Macallan Glenlivet. Now, this is a folio that was designed by David Holmes to talk about the, to introduce Macallan to the world, basically. Before this point, Macallan was basically a blending whiskey and they needed distribution detail uh, deals, and this is basically what they got. But the first sheet here, I don't know if you can see this on here, and we'll bring it up to the screen here so you can see, does anybody recognize that design? Well, obviously that is a Sarah Midder design, which goes on the front of the Folio One. And we're gonna do a video about the rest of this Folio uh, or the remarkable history of the Macallan Glenlivet. So if you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any new releases. Now, the Folio Two is called a place called Macallan. So this archive, this Folio is about introducing Macallan and the brand to the world. And a key part of that was introducing Speyside and the, the area of Craig Ellicke where the distillery is. And in here somewhere we will be able to find an illustration by Sarah Midder. And that was used for the Folio 2. Now the Folio 3 is, is titled The Snow on Ben Rinners. The Ben Rinners is a mountain or a big hill, depending on which way you want to look at it. Not far in Speyside, not far away from the distillery. And the front is, a, so it's a celebration of an advert that went into the Times. The illustration is lifted from a punch cartoon and it talks about the coldness being perfect for making whiskey and the cold water historically would have been better to aid the, the condensation of the vapors in that distilling process. So there's an element of truth in there. Number four is kind of like one of my favorite and least favorite releases. I think graphically it works. It's called Strathspey Music and it's, and it's the first time that printed music was put into an advert in the Times. And I think graphically that works really well. I love the look of it, the, the, the graphic device on the front of the Folio 4. But I don't think when you start playing the music and stuff, it's not necessarily, I don't think it necessarily translates because what's key about that is this is celebrating print 
mostly print advertising. And when you start translating the music into real life, it kind of loses some of its magic to me anyway. Number five is a fantastic one. It's the tail of the luggy bonnet, which is basically a deer stalker hat, which has got flaps that come down over your ears. And there's a fable that goes the, after a long day's shoot, a poor gamekeeper was there freezing, face blue, ears bright red and freezing. And everybody asked him, why on earth haven't you put your flaps down? And he says, I never put my flaps down since the disaster. What disaster? Well, the disaster of the time that his master asked him if he would like a drum of Macallan and he didn't hear. So now he always keeps his luggy bonnet flaps up so that he can hear if his master is offering him a drum of Macallan. Number six, again, it's a really funny one and it's so, I, this is one of my favorites. It celebrates the creativity and the beautiful collaboration between David Holmes and Nick Salomon. It talks about the chairman of Macallan at the time, Alan Shirk, who came up with an idea for an advert and they tried not to ridicule it, but what they did was subvert it. They brought this idea into reality and kind of turn it around on Alan to basically say, look, we didn't do this idea, but it's pretty funny, isn't it? So it's, I, I quite like that. It, it, it celebrates sort of like the, the real creativity that they had between them. Number seven, it's the most recent one, and this is the Boffins Baffled. And weirdly enough, we can't really tell too much about this one because when I plugged in the little USB stick to play the videos, because all of the other uh, folios have got a book with a USB stick with a lovely little video in there, but we'll put it on screen now. When I put my USB stick into the computer, it doesn't have anything inside it, but it's just been released. It's Boffins Baffled. How does the whiskey mature so well in oak? They've got no idea, but it just does. So it really is a beautifully designed series but there are a lot of things wrong with it in my opinion. The biggest failure, because there was a lot of successes that I'm gonna talk about in a moment, but bear with me on this. The biggest failure of this series is how many of you people have even taken your folio six, seven, five, four, three, two, one out of the box? How many of you have even bothered to take the book out of the plastic wrapper and read the contents inside it? And finally, how many of you have even bothered to take this USB stick out and put it in your computer and get a virus. Now I'm joking, there's no viruses on it, but we are discouraged nowadays from putting USB drives into our computers, aren't we? So it's it's a relic from a time when this was released, 2015, when they first started. But again, and that's my biggest failure on this. The folios have almost become a fetishized object. People like the folios, they're almost, they're almost worshipped and revered. But how many people of you watching this really genuinely know who David Holmes is and really know and understand who Nick Salomon is and how their movement of the McCallum brand from the late 1980s or from the 1980s through the 1990s really put McCallum on the world that is the world stage that it is today. Now, that can also be subverted. That can also be flipped because this is the success of the Folio series. And it's, it's like it's a really, it's an amazing paradox. It's undeniable that this folio series is really, really heavily coveted. People love it, people collect it every year, the ballot goes crazy. And it's a series that celebrates the geniuses of Macallan's marketing and advertising campaigns. And this, this folio series has been so phenomenally well executed in terms of advertising and marketing it's brought thousands of new people to the brand, you know, thousands of people will be signing up for the ballots, which will be getting your data on McAllen's mailing list so that you can send you new details and new releases. But the irony is, is that it's celebrating the, the you know, how, how successful their marketing is, but at the same time, they're so successful at missing the point, you know, the whole point of this series is to talk about David Holmes and Nick Salomon, and that's almost forgotten about in this series. And again, you could probably zoom that out into a wider point about McAllen is so great at marketing that people miss the wider point of McAllen, which is the whiskey. Because how many people are going to even go so far as to open a bottle of the Folio 7 or any of the folios, even the Folio 1, goodness me, are people doing that, or even the fine and rares or any of these modern releases that McAllen are bringing out? that people are collecting, who's opening them? So the, the whole point of Macallan is to make whiskey, but the point of the whiskey is almost forgotten about. And it's the same way with this folio series, is the point was to celebrate the success of the advertising and advertising of David Holmes and things, but that's all been overlooked because the, the project was so successful. So it's a strange metaphor for the whiskey. Now, we can't talk about the folios without talking about their investment potential. So. Again, you need to understand where these began to understand where they are now. 
2015 was the year of the first release. It was priced at £199 and it was an addition of 2,000 bottles. Folio 2 was released in 2017, £199, 2,500 bottles. 2018 was also £199, 2,000 bottles. But this was the last one that was a distillery exclusive only. So folios one, two, and three, you had to go to the distillery and buy them. Four, five, six, seven were all done by ballot. And there's no, no surprise there because 2018, it's new, the, the year that the new distillery opened and those new scenes of the chaos caused by the release of the Genesis bottle when everybody was queuing up trying to get those bottles. So 2019, we saw the folio four for £250, 2000 in addition. The Folio 5 came out in 2020, £250, 3,250 bottles. The Folio 6 came out also in 2020. You know, the Folio 5 was at the start of the year. The Folio 6 was at the end of the year for £300. And again, addition of 3,000. And then the Folio 7 came out in 2023 for £350. Now, let's remember that they all started life at between £199 and £350. So let's look at the record prices. Folio 1, £16,000. Folio 2, £9,200. Folio 3, £9,100. Folio 4, £8,500. Folio 5, £3,000. Folio 6, £3,000. And the Folio 7, £2,550. So look, people, they are massive headline prices. Let's get the old calculator out here. £16,000 minus £199. You would have made £15,801 profit if you'd bought the Folio 1 on release for £199. So of course they're a good investment. The prices jump. Look at that Folio 7, £2,550 for something that you bought for £350. But, and this is why you need to subscribe to this channel, because you need to understand why prices are worth what they are. And, and it's no good just talking about headline prices because all of those records came in around April, May or 2022. And we'll put this graph on screen now of the Folio 1, which is from the website Whiskey Stats. And you can see there's been a massive correction in the market since that point. Why? Who knows? Well, people clearly love the Folio series. There are, there are several reasons why I think the Folio series have softened off. The first one is obviously fatigue. People are bored of this now to a certain extent. People got excited when it was announced that there was going to be 24. Incidentally, when you speak to the people behind the Folio series, there was only ever meant to be three, series, uh, three of the Folios, and then it got expanded and expanded up to the 24. Now, people are bored of waiting. You've had to wait from 2020 to 2023, so three calendar years, to get your next instalment of the Folio. You're bored of them. In the meantime, you've gone on to the James Bonds and this, that and the other. So this 2023 release of the Folio 7, I believe might kickstart the market a little bit and people will start looking at the other sort of side of it. The other thing that could have been driving the market are malicious players pump and dumping. You know, if you've got 10, 20 of these, we'll keep putting them in auction, pushing the price up, pushing the price up, pushing the price up, and then the market will believe you because of the whole load of greater fool theory buying and selling in the whiskey market and this is why you really need to get educated about what you're buying and i think you know the one thing that we have to address here people and be realistic about is that we all believe that this is going to be a 24 edition series it says it on the website i've seen designs for all 24 bottles the designs all exist but come on at this rate it's going to be taking until 2042 to see the last of the folios released apparently it was meant to be done two per year which would have taken 12 years and again how stagnant would these designs and this case design and everything look in 12 years time i think for me that's the biggest problem and i don't think we're ever going to see the 24 the full 24 releases unless mccallan churn and dump them out in a huge number but Personally, I don't think we're going to see them all. Now, should you buy them? Well, there's three things to this. One, can you get them on the release at the ballot price? Well, if yes, buy as many as you can, people. Do what lots of other people do. Pay someone on Fiverr to make you a bot to enter the ballot hundreds of times, and then you've got a better chance of buying them. I'm not condoning that, but that's clearly what people do. So why should it only be the people who understand the fact that you can build a bot to enter the ballots for you be the ones that benefit because it's it's a corrupt system anyway. So the more people that are corrupt in it, you know, the, the fairer the odds become. Number two, if you've got one, there are two sort of strategies here. Buy it and flip it immediately. That first one that we saw sold for 2,250, the prices have come back down to sort of 12, 1,500 pounds at auction now. And I think that will sort of fluctuate as we start seeing the ballot opening and 
you know, people being posted theirs. And let's remember, everything that's come out to date as this video is being filmed, the ballots closed literally today, the day that I'm filming this video, but there's been nearly 50 of them sold on the market before because McAllen gives them to their preferential customers. So let's assume you've got one on release and you've not flipped it, well, you've got to keep it for a long-term hold. Build up a collection, build up as many as you can, as cost-effectively as you can, because I just can't see these being anything other than a very short or very long-term hold. So, and by long-term hold, we're sort of talking 10 or 20 years. So do it for your young children and put them away. So there we have it. It's the incredible, amazing, fantastic McAllen Folio series, beautifully designed, beautifully executed. But unfortunately, people have overlooked the message of all of this. But anyway, it doesn't matter. People love them, the market loves them. If you wanna see another awesome bottle, check out this video here, which is about the McAllen that we released. It's an independently bottled McAllen designed by David Holmes, the guy in this video, and it's really, really awesome. So go and check that video out now.